On December 20th, 1986, 23-year-old Michael Griffith, 36-year-old Cedric Sandiford, and 20-year-old Timothy Grimes were traveling from Brooklyn to Queens in New York City. When the car broke down in Howard Beach, a predominantly white middle-class Queens neighborhood, the three black men walked to a local pizzeria and asked to use the phone. When they refused, the young black men sat down at a table where they were soon confronted by white teenagers. After a brief verbal altercation, the white teens went to a nearby party and announced, quote, there's some niggers in the pizza parlor, let's go kill them, unquote. When Griffith, Sanford, and Grimes exited the restaurant, the white teens had returned with baseball bats and tree branches. Grimes ran fast enough to escape the attack, while Griffith and Sandiford were brutally beaten. Griffith finally broke away from his attackers and ran into traffic on the Belt Parkway and was struck and killed by a car. The teens continued to beat Sandiford as Griffith lay dying. News of the attack spread quickly, sparking outrage and protests from the black community and inspiring an anti-racism march through Howard Beach that crowded the white residents gathered to harass. In the press, many reports of the attack used dehumanizing language to describe Michael Griffith only by his race, while in some cases describing the young men accused of killing him as teenagers and babyface. When Queens District Attorney John Santucci charged Scott Kern, Jason Ladone, and John Lester with reckless endangerment for their suspected roles in Griffith's death, Santucci was accused of being inappropriately lenient and removed from the case, replaced by Special Prosecutor Charles Hines. After the three defendants were prosecuted and convicted for Michael Griffith's murder, Judge Thomas DeMacos sentenced Kern to 6 to 18 years imprisonment, Jason Ladone to 5 to 15 years, and John Lester, the accused instigator, to 10 to 30 years. While passing down his rulings, Judge DeMacos asks, quote, What kind of angel do I have before me who, after witnessing a young black man get crushed by a car, continues his reckless conduct by savagely beating another black male with a bat? Unquote.